Lives of Our Saints. On the 29th of August, our church celebrates the feast day of Saint Theodora of Egina. The following are some thoughts on her life and works. Born on the island of Egina in Greece, she lived during the time between 812 and 892. While still young, her mother Chrysanthi died and her father, a priest by the name of Anthony, decided to devote the rest of his life to the monastic life in repentance. Probably only about five years old, Theodora was shipped off to a close relative on the other side of the island. It was the custom of that day with some people to betroth young girls to young men whose social status was better than theirs in order to ease the burden of raising a child. The marriage, of course, would take place at a much later time, although many girls in this situation found themselves married by the time, by the time they were 14 or 15 years of age. Thus Theodora's aunt betrothed her to a fairly well-to-do young man of Egina at the young age of seven. Indeed, they were married when Theodora was only 14 years of age. But shortly thereafter, a great raid by Saracens forced the family to leave Egina and moved to Thessaloniki, where in 837 she lost her young husband. Not having any children to raise, Theodora then went to a nearby convent of St. Stephen and was tonsured a nun. For 55 years she devoted herself to prayer, good works and a life of repentance. She died in the year 892. Shortly thereafter, however, she became miraculous and came to the aid of many people who asked her to intercede on their behalf. Not only that, but out of her crypt there oozed an ointment with the odour of roses, and for this phenomenon she became known as the Mirovlites, or one who exudes myrrh. West of the Cathedral of St. Sophia in Thessaloniki, the convent of St. Stephen can be seen along with a church dedicated to her honour. Her miracles continued and the church finally declared her a saint and honours her on the 29th of August.